Hey there, and welcome back to my channel. Carol here, founder of Lift to Rise, and I'm so glad you're here. Today I'm making some delicious banana bread. Today is Saturday, it's morning time. We spent the day at the beach yesterday and it was so beautiful, and we're heading back there today, but one of my kids' favorite things to have in the morning for breakfast is banana bread. And I actually love making this one for them because it's full of healthy fiber and protein and nutrients from the bananas and the oats, and they just love it. It's a great way to get oats into your kids. In this bowl, I have five small bananas. I use a lot of bananas because I don't use any oil or fat in this loaf. And this just helps to keep it really moist. So I have smashed them all up. These were really ripe bananas. They had some brown spots on the skin and I've just mashed them all really well. Then I'm going to add a third of a cup of pure maple syrup. Mmm, that's going to give it that super sweet taste. You can use less if you want, or you could use dates if you want to sweeten it with a whole food. And then most recipes for banana bread call for eggs, but instead I've used two tablespoons of ground flaxseed and I mixed it with six tablespoons of soy milk. You can use any plant milk. And this will act as a binder to hold everything together. So that's going to replace about two eggs. Then I have a teaspoon of cinnamon. That's optional, but I like the cinnamon flavor. A teaspoon of vanilla. A teaspoon of baking powder. And a teaspoon of baking soda. That's gonna make it rise and make it nice and fluffy. And a half a teaspoon of salt. Okay, just mix all the wet ingredients together. Banana bread is a popular dish here in Hawaii, and a lot of roadside stands sell it, but it's loaded with simple sugar and eggs and butter and things like that that we don't really like to eat. In this bowl, I have two and a quarter cups of oat flour. I just took rolled oats, regular rolled oats, and whizzed them up in the Vitamix to make a fine flour. Okay, so we just mix this all up just until it's moist, it doesn't have to be perfect. My boys love oatmeal, but this is a special treat for them because it's nice and sweet and it's full of that yummy banana flavor. You can use any fruit in this loaf actually. You, I've made it with mangoes before, pineapple would be good, papaya would be delicious too. Okay, so it's just stirred just until it's all incorporated. Then I have a loaf pan. This is a nonstick loaf pan, but I like to put a little parchment in the bottom just to, so it um, comes out a nice golden color and it's not dark on the bottom. And then this is going to go into the loaf pan. My oven is preheated to 350 degrees. And this will cook for about 45 minutes. It smells so good with the cinnamon and the vanilla and the bananas. And when you make this, your whole house smells amazing. And this will keep us going at the beach. Okay, it's going in the oven at 350 for about 45 minutes. Banana bread is out of the oven. It cooked for about 45 minutes at 350 degrees and it is perfect. I ended up putting a streusel topping on the top. That is some oats and some granola that I had. I put a little brown sugar on there and that just kind of gives it a crunchy topping and makes it look a little bit fancier. But you can see all the bananas in there. It's super moist and it smells amazing. Let's give it a try. So I cooked it until a, a skewer stuck in it came out clean, and then I let it rest on top of the stove for about 15 minutes. You don't want to take it out when it's super piping hot because it, it still will continue to cook in the very center. All right, let's give it a taste. Mmm. So good. So moist and delicious. I can taste the cinnamon in there. I hope you guys give this one a try. 
And if you haven't already, click the link below to get my free ebook. It's five of my favorite sauces and dressings that are really good to put on your salads. There's an enchilada sauce in there and they're all whole food plant-based. So I hope you guys give this one a try and enjoy your Saturday.